Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Welcome everyone. I'm Michelle Schumann. I'm here for the Austin Chamber Music Center. Our festival is coming up and I'm here with the beautiful Sonia Tengblad. She's going to be the soprano soloist for um, our Emily Dickinson performance mm -hmm. on Friday, July 22nd. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm actually here with her in Victoria because we're about to perform this for the Victoria Bach Festival. Mm -hmm. um, it was first performed in September and it is such a stunning um, organization of songs and poetry by mm -hmm. Emily Dickinson that I couldn't wait to be able to present it in Austin. So I'm so glad that you're coming back. Um, to you. Tell me, uh, you were such an inspiration in putting together these songs. Um, what was your inspiration for choosing the songs that you did? Because of course, Emily Dickinson's poetry has been used by so many composers throughout mm -hmm. the 20th century. Um, what were some of the things that you were thinking about when you were choosing some of these songs? Well, it, you're right, her poetry is set often and I think what we were looking for in creating this program is you know what's new because everyone knows say the Copeland set mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. amazing and mm -hmm. but uh, we wanted to kind of look at what's what's been done recently and so we just kind of focused our search on that and just found this kind of treasure trove of all these composers it, very recently you know you know even this year, yeah. uh, all these cycles right. have come out. Yeah, so we made a rule, so all music since 2000. Right. And it's just amazing, the beauty and the, the breadth of music. Right. Like, it, there's so much variety, and, yes. you know, some of it almost sounds like Broadway-ish. Well, yeah, it, and her yeah. poetry can lend itself to so many different kinds of voices and styles. It's, yeah. it's pretty remarkable that way, and, and her poetry still feels so relevant yeah. because she was so forward-thinking and... You know, out of the box so um, well, and just thinking I mean we're doing it's about 30 songs and I think that mm -hmm. are on the program and just to think that all of these different composers probably how many composers do you think we have Ten. Ten. yeah you know that all of these people were inspired by Emily Dickinson's poetry now and mm -hmm. you know this idea of it being relevant and having this poetry speak to people now I just think it's it's just an amazing, amazing thing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you really love Emily Dickinson. You loved Emily Dickinson before this program, too. Yes, but it made me realize how little I actually knew mm. who she was. You know, I think a lot of us think of her as just this woman who wrote about flowers and, and fluffy stuff, but she was so, um, I don't even know, some adjectives. Uh, she just... She was a really fiery being right. and um, actually really pushed the envelope in, in so many ways that women at her time were not doing. So um, this made me see her in a whole in a whole new light. So yeah. I, I hope the program would do the same for other people well, too. I think especially about there's one set that we're doing that um, focuses on some of her wartime or Civil War poetry. Right. And she really gets to the heart of the the sadness and the sort of tenderness mm -hmm. of loss. Uh, yeah, she writes, war. and she kind of what sets her apart, a lot of people say, is how she writes about the dark interior. And so, you know, th there's actually a lot of darkness that, sh that she writes about mm -hmm. um, and, and inside one's own soul, which a lot of other people weren't doing at her time anyway, mm -hmm. or uh, either. So, um, yeah, all, all these different shades of Emily you'll see in this in this program. Yeah, and I think that's what's wonderful too. We're, we're able to put all these together and bring our own idea of Emily Dickinson. Yeah, to the, the joke is, too. who is your Emily? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one really knows yeah. who, who she was. So. Well, and she was solitary in so many ways, so I think that right. she, she right. got to even play with who she was and, and right. a private soul, and yet she had the, has these poems that can all these different all colors. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, for me, it's one of the best projects I've ever done in me my too. entire life. The, the program is really beautiful because we have all of these poems, and um, the, it's about 75 minutes mm -hmm. of music, but all the poems go from one to the next, so there's no pause, and sometimes we improvise in between um, the poems, and sometimes we have just the poems that are spoken. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's like this... Uh, this it, bubble of Emily Dickinson, yeah. a bubble of emotion that goes through and it's different. Right, it's really mm -hmm. meant to feel like a conversation, so mm -hmm. the poems lead like like you would in a conversation from mm -hmm. sort of subject to subject and um, train of thought. So 
Yeah. Yeah, it's meant to feel like a conversation between us and you and amongst each other. So. Yeah. Well, it's it's a beautiful program. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait for you to all be there and enjoy that uh, with yeah. us. It's so great to collaborate with Cos Ferrari on our 20th anniversary of the festival. Mm -hmm. So it's just a great time to, to showcase our fantastic uh, artists. So uh, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. Thank you for Me being too. a part of it. And we can't wait to see all of you there. Bye-bye. <laughs>